so this is an example of mesh analysis of both these sources this is without a dependent source so let mesh analysis to find i line mesh analysis to find i The figure is so I have a ten ohm resistor and then two ohm resistor and a one ohm resistor. And therefore, ohm resistor here, and then your eight volts, an independent voltage source eight volts, and then another independent voltage source, which is your six volts, and another resistor which is 5 ohm okay. so the i that is asked in this question is right here right this is your i and another thing about this problem is that we have Established for uh, loops for your I1, I2, and your I3. Take note that your mesh analysis is a continuous application of your KVL. Continuous application of KVL. With the guidance of your PCL. Why? Basically, we need these current directions. This current direction, as I have said, is already established. And as we assume the current that are going on into our nodes or into our meshes or in our loops is that the assumption will be all throughout the process. Take note na kung ano yung loop na i-analyze natin that would be the direction of the current that would be used in analysis. Okay? But first, let us establish the current's that are not outside or not o yung hindi na sa gilid ng mga current sa loops nyo. Actually, this is already your I2. Okay? This is your I2. Bakit? Kasi nasa kung siya, nasa labas, nasa outer parts of the loop wherein there is no other currents that will interrupt the current I2 going to your forum. Another is your current I1 which is palabas sa dito, take note ha, yung direction ng current or arrow natin is, ito pa rin, this is your I2, sinusunod pa rin natin yung I2, and then yung I1 natin, this is your I1. It is going out, this node, let's say this will be a node A. This is my I1, so pag mapapansin mo, pag lumabas sa dito sa I2, pag aroon siya, okay? Yan, this is our I1, and then, yung I1 natin, papusok siya dito. Pero wala na tayong pakialam dyan. Okay? So, in our nodal analysis, meron pa rin. Okay? But, take note that in your mesh analysis, hahanapin natin yung mga currents wherein didiscardihan natin kung saan uh, yung currents natin mag-meet. Okay? 
Next is this note. Your node B. Wherein your I3 and I2 will meet. Okay. Uh, let's say that my I12. So, dito na. Mag-focus ako sa I12. Let's say this will be my I21. Bakit siya I21, sir? Uh, probably, kinawa ko siyang I21 because on my first analysis, I will refer to my loop 2 first. My loop 2, my I21 means my loop 2, the current at my loop 2, that is or that is affected by my I1. I to 1. Okay. Next is my I 3 2. So, what is my I 3 2? This will, uh, I 2 3 mo na. This will be my I 2 3. My I 2 3 will be the direction of my I 2 which is pababa. Okay. This current will be my I 2 3. Bakit I 2 3? Basically, I 2 3 kasi this is my current I2 affected by my current I3. Okay? So, that is that is why it is I23. Okay? Uh, as you can see, as we go on with our mesh analysis, you would realize that your mesh analysis is a continuous application of KML with application of KCL. Bakit may application tayo ng KCL? Basically, as you have seen in my direction of current is that hindi kay, dapat, hindi natin or dapat the bad side of our mesh analysis is that pag nabagbaliktad mo yung current, mali na yung sagot mo. Like, like this one. Okay? So, ito yung I na tinatanong, tinatanong diba? Take note that I that is as okay, itong I na to is equal to the negative of our I23. Baka siya negative ng I23. Kasi yung direction ng I23 natin, sumasalungat sa I natin. Okay? So, let us form the equation. So, dito natin kaganapin yung equation natin. So, what are our equation? So, at my mesh 2 muna tayo. Because, let's say that my mesh 2 is my reference mesh Kaya ako nag-refer ng I2, I21, at I23. Okay? So, what is my equation I2? Take note that my I2 is equal to So, we have what are the mesh in our I2? So, we have our 4. Mesh analysis at loop 2. At loop 2. So, what are our currents? Our currents or the equations of our mesh analysis at loop 2 is we have our 4 so loop 2 na tayo we have our 4 I2 4 I2 plus within the current 2 I2 I21 plus 1 multiplied by I23 plus 8 equals 0. Normally, pag gumawa ka ng KVL is that we have our V4 voltage at 4 volts plus V2 uh, V12 uh, V21 which is the voltage at 2 volts that is uh, that is because of your I21 plus our V23 ok this will be our V23 that is the voltage at 1 volt that is affected by our I23 ok plus 8 volts equals 0. But our V14 is equal to 4 I2 4 multiplied by I2. And our V21 is equal to 2 
multiplied by i by 2 i to 1 it is because of your ohm's law and then your v to 3 is just equal to your i multiplied by your current to 3 and of course your 8 volts okay take note that in our mesh analysis we have our kcl which is v is equal to our ir so kirchhoff's uh, kvl kirchhoff's voltage law wherein magagawa tayo ng loop and this kvl follows what you call the conservation of energy k equals zero siya okay so since we have i2 na tayo plus i2 to i2 1 and then i2 3 let's say this will be our equation 1 equation 1 okay next is our at mesh 1 mesh at loop 1 so mesh at loop 1 so uh, mention no meron tayong ano yung mga currents nat uh, yung mga voltage natin we have our 10 i1 uh, v, so let's say V1 V1 and then mapasok sa negative 6 and then mapasok sa negative ng I to 1 but I will say that since uh, we will use your I1 so sabihin natin this will be your so sasalungatin natin siya Kasi ito yung direction natin. So, parang wala tayong pakialam muna dito. So, tatakpan muna na. Parang tatakpan nyo muna yung iba. Ibang meshes. Okay? So, ito muna. Uh, ito muna. Okay. Yung, I1, yung loop I1 muna natin. Yung i-consider natin. Okay? So, so, do tatanggal ko pa rin natin yung. Okay. So, we have, this will be my I 1, 2. Take note that my I, 1, 2 is equal to negative of my I to 1, right? So, negative 6 plus 2 multiplied by I, 1, 2 equals 0. Uh, in my assumption of my pre-establish, okay? pre-establish direction of current. Mapapansin nyo, yung I21 natin, ito yung na-establish natin current kanina. Okay? Mapapansin nyo mamaya that my I12 will go with the flow of I21. How? By getting the negative of I12. Uh, of our I21. Bakit? Kasi nga sinasalungat nya yung I12. Okay? Basta mag-direction yan, pag maganyan yung assumption mo, And then the loop of another mesh will be going against the loop. Therefore, this loop will be, uh, this direction will be negative direction. This will always be your assumption. Yun yung masusunod. Okay. Next, at mesh 3. A mesh at loop 3. So, mesh at loop 3. So, we have. Okay. I-evaluate muna natin itong V1. Ano yung V1 natin? Our V1 is basically equal to 10I1. So, 10I1. 10I1 minus 6 plus 2I12. This will be our equation 2. equation 2 okay so at loop 3 at loop 3 we have what our what is our equation at loop 3 so we have negative 8 masuk sa negative so yeah conventional sign convention tayo kung saan papasok yun yung sign pag resistor masuk always positive okay next is our i Take note that our I3, uh, ngayon, ito yung, ito yung kukunin natin yung direction ng current niya. So, 
So we have our i23. But take note that our i, uh, this is our i32. I32. Okay. But take note that our i32 is equal to your i, which is also equal to negative of i23. Right? So i32, so negative 8 plus 1 multiplied by i32 okay plus our 6 volts plus our v3 or our 5i3 5i3 equals a 0 so we have negative 8 plus 6 we have negative so, negative 2 plus I32 plus our I plus our 5I3. 5I3 equals 0 or we have our I32 plus 5I3 equals 2. This will be our equation 3. equation 3 okay so paano natin ngayon kukunin or isosolve yan take note that your i21 is a negative of your i32 okay and then your i3 uh, i32 is a negative of your i23 so sir well, mathematically pwede natin makuha yung value ng i32 at i23 by substituting it to your equation. Hindi pwede. Kahit yung substitute mo, may kuha lang pa rin isa yan. So, the best thing to do is that I will get the value of your I32, I23, I21 with the aid or with our primary currents at each loop which is your I1, I2, and I3. So, paano ba natin gagawin yan? So, as I have said, I have a pre-established assumption of current after solving the equation. So, paano yun? So, I have my I21. So, what is your I21? So, solving for your I21 at I21. Solving for I21. Ito. So, makikita yung I21 natin. No? Uh, solving for I21. So, ibahin natin yung kulay. Solving for I21. We have at node A, KCL at node A. So, what are the currents entering to your node? The currents entering to your node at node A are, we have our I2, tama, I2. And then, the currents going out the node is your I1 plus I1 and then the currents going out the node is your I2. So, going out yung I1 natin, so therefore it is negative. And then, and going out yung I21 natin, negative I21. So, therefore, what is your I21? Your I21 is basically equal to I2, so take not equal to 0 conservation of charges. So, I2 minus your I1. That is our I21. Mapansin nyo that your I12 is equal to negative I21. Or it is equal to I1 minus I2. So how? Basically, it can be proven by this mesh. So tignan nyo, itong I12 mo, I12. Itong I12 natin, Pupunta siya dito. Ito yung assumption natin, di ba? Uh, ito, yung, uh, ito yung current direction natin at loop 1. Kasi nga pa ganito yan. Okay? So, yun yung current direction natin at loop 1. Ito yung assumed current direction natin. Yung I1 natin. So, mamabansin mo na it can be proven 
kahit mag-KCL sa A. Pag nag-KCL ka sa A, yung pumapasok is your I12. Tama? Pumapasok yung I12 mo, lalabas yung I1 natin, papapasok yung I2 natin, equal 0. Tama? Pumasok yung I1, yung I21 natin, pumasok yung I2 natin, lumabas yung I1 natin. Tama? Okay? So, syempre, tanggalin natin yun, no? Kasi, papangit. Do, pangit na natin sila ito, okay? So, we have our I12 is equal to, equal 0 ito, syempre. So, I1 minus I2, right? Which is true or the proof of our assumption that it is a negative of your I21. Okay? So, this is our I21. So, not, saan natin kukunin yung I23? Take note that your I23 was assumed this is your I23. Okay? Kung kapansin nyo, na yung I23 mo is papasok dito sa node B natin. And then, ano ba yung mga papasok? Yung I3. Ito, di ba? Yung I3. Okay? Papasok yung I3 natin. So, ibang kulit na lang para mas makita. Ito. So, we have our I3 going into your node B. And then your I2 which is going out your node B. Which is our I2. So we have equations. Okay. What are our equations? So at node B. At node B. We have our I3 going into the node. So positive I3. And then. Your I23 going out the node. So, negative I23. And then, yung I2 going out the node. Okay, I2, I3. Okay, negative I2. Taba. Your I3 going into the node. And then, okay, your I23 ito yung I23 natin. It's going into the node. So, that positive to. Okay. So, therefore, it is equal to 0. Therefore, we have our I23 is equal to I2 minus I3. Take note that our I23 is equal to negative of I32, which is equal to I3 minus I2. Actually guys, yung mga subscript ko is not ABC because I prefer that my subscript will indicate the current. The, this will be my original current or yung current na pinafollow natin. Let's say original current. This is our first subscript. And then yung second scrap, subscript natin is sabihin natin uh, current that is affecting affecting the original current kaya madaling hanapin or madaling sundan yung mga subscript ko okay okay next is that after determining your i23 i32 is that we will substitute these equations to your equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 okay first let us substitute your i21 in your i23 substituting i21 and i23 so, at equation 1, wherein we have our, ano equation 1 natin? So, we have our for I2 plus 2 I21 plus I23 plus 8 equals 0. This is our equation 1. So, basically, what is our I21? Our I21 is equal to I1 minus I2. So, we have uh, our equation 1 is equal to I21 is equal to I2 minus I1. So, nagulat ka, di ba? Bigla. Bakit I1 minus I2? Eh, yung subscript ko is I2 minus uh, I2, I1. I21. Kasi yung subscript ko is yung I think original minus yung 
current na nag affect okay? So, pag ganun yung mga subscript mo, guys, mapapansin mo agad kung mali or tama yung equation mo. So, we have 4i2 plus our i2 1 which is 2 multiplied by i2 minus i1 plus our i2 3 our i2 3 which is yung 1 natin which is i2 minus i3 tama ba? i2 3 is i2 minus i3 i2 is equal to i2 minus i2 plus 8 equals 0 so we have our 4 i2 plus 2 multiplied by i2 minus 2 multiplied by i1 plus 8 multiplied by i2 uh, hindi siya 8 1 lang pala siya ok mm -hmm. ok i2 i2 minus i3 plus 8 equals 0. Take note ha, multiplied by 1 yan. Ha? Next is that we will evaluate your i2, i3. So we have 4 i2 4 i2 plus 2 i2 plus i2. So we have 7 i2 minus our 2i1 minus our i3 plus our 8 so therefore we have our 7i2 minus 2i1 minus i3 equals negative 8 negative Let's say this will be my equation 4. Next is evaluation of our equation 2. So, at equation 2, we have our equation 2. So, meron tayong 10 i1 minus 6 plus 2 i2 equals 0 2 i 1 2 equals 0 this our equation 2 is from our mesh at loop 1 ok so mesh at loop 1 so therefore we have what is our I12? Take note that our I12 is negative of our I21 because at this loop, our original current is the current at loop 1. Okay? So I12. So 10 I1 minus 6 plus 2 multiplied by I1 minus I2 equals a uh, 0. So we have 10 I1 minus 6 plus 2 I1 minus 2 I2 equal a uh, 0. So we have 12 I1 12 I1 minus 2 I2 equals this will be my equation 5. Let's see, this will be our equation 5. So, after solving for our equation 5, same equation 6 time. At equation 3, basically our equation 3 is based on our mesh at loop 3, which is equal to I32 plus 5I3. Okay. 
so we have i 3 to i 3 to plus 5 i 3 plus 5 i 3 equals uh, 5 i 3 minus uh, equals to okay, minus 8 plus 6 5 i 3 is equal to 2 so this is our equation 3 right so we have our i 3 to means i 3 minus i 2 or it is the negative of our i to t which is uh, proven at our node t okay so we have i 3 minus i 2 plus 5 i 3 equals 2 so we have our 6 i 3 minus i 2 comma 5 i 3 plus i 3 so 6 i 3 minus i 2 is equal to 2 so this is our equation so ayusin lang natin so we have negative i2 plus 6 i3 is equal to our 2 volts this is our equation 6 equation 6 so <coughs> using your calculator in solving your i1 i2 and i3 so we have mode 5 2 okay? if you have your calculator in your homes so we have our at equation 4 so mauna yung i-enter natin yung i2 natin so negative 2 we have our negative 2 then your i2 which is 7 and then your negative 3 which is equal to your negative 1 and then your negative 8 yan yung ilalagay natin sa calcul natin next is your 12i1 and then negative 2 i2 and then 0 siyempre yung i3 mo and then 6 Next is 0 yung i1 natin. 0 i1. So 0. And then we have our negative uh, positive 6. And then uh, we have our at i2 we have negative 1. And then our positive 6 which is equal to 2. Okay, ano makukuha yung sagot? Basically, our I1 is equal to our I1 is equal to I1 is equal to 0 0.329 Ampere our i2 is equal to negative 1.0256 ampere and then our i3 is equal to 0 0.16239 ampere so we can i can i will show you in our screen Mahirap kasing isa-isahin guys, no? kaya hindi ko na inisa-isa, linagay ko muna sa kalki ko. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Mag? Kan tayo? Mag-mode tayo. Okay? So, mode. Ito yung mode natin. And then, we'll have our system equations. Yan kundi wala namang gagamit sa'yo ng algebraic equation, no? Kasi nasa bahay kayo. So, gagamitan ng calculator natin. So, negative 2. 
negative 2 7 or negative 1 negative 1 and then we have our negative 1 negative 8 negative 8 and then we have positive 12 negative 2 a 0 and then we have positive 6 and then we have another 0 negative 1 6 and 2 so this is our answer so 0 0.329 negative 1.0256 Siyempre parehas sa calculator nyo no? kasi kinuha natin dyan yung value okay? It is also equal to your 0 0.16239 Okay? So that is our answers for our I1, I2, and I3 but is it the answer for our I? Ano yung tinatanong natin? Yung I? Ano nga ba yung I natin? Take note that I have already defined your I in this sample. Take note that our I is equal to negative I23. But our negative I23 is equal to positive I32. Okay? So therefore, our i, our i is equal to i32, which means it is equal to i3 minus i2. Okay? So what is our i3? Take note that our i3 is equal to 0 0.16239 minus our i2, which is equal to negative 1.02. So adding this is we will have a value equal to 0.16239 minus 1.0256. This equal to 1.188 ampere. Okay. This is the value of our I. Diba? Ang haba guys. Mahaba lang yan. Okay? Pag tinitignan mo. Pero, actually may mas madaling paraan dyan para makuha mga equations 1, 2, and 3. Paano ba? So, ganito lang yan guys. What are my equations I1, I2, uh, I4, I5, I6? So, ang gagawin mo is that, i-add mo lahat ng mga nakakabit sa loob na yan at the uh, loop we're in or our base loop and then i-minus mo lahat ng mga loop na o nag a to sa loop na yan basically let's say this is our mag-loop ako dito pag nag-loop ako dito positive 8 pa rin diba? positive 8 volts sya so nalakihan ko ng konti ah. so we have our positive 8 volts pumasok ako dyan pero ano, lahat, ano, yung, ano yung mga resistor na pumapasok or nakakabit sa lupan natin ano mga resistor na nakakabit sa lupan natin tama ba so we have our 1 2 and 4 i-add mo lang lahat yan that will be your I2 or your base loop current so I2 so we have 7 7 I2 tapos i-minus mo lahat ng mga nasa labas wherein i-minus mo yung nakaka-affect tong current minus 2 I1. Diba? Nabigtoan nyo yung I1 mo. Minus 1 I3. So, masyadong pangit na. So, pagandaan ko lang konti. So, wala lang ikaganda yung sulat to guys. Okay? So, we have lahat na nga konekta. 7 I at base loop I2. Minus 
the loops that are affecting the current I2. So, we have our 2I2. Uh, 2I1 minus our 1I3 uh, plus our 8 volts. Or, we have our equation for already. It is equal to 7I2 minus 2I1 minus I3 is equal to negative 8. That is our equation 4. Tama. Pag mapapansin mo, parehas sila ng equation 4 natin. What is also our equation 4? Ito. Compare. Right? They are similar. Next is our equation 5 which is basically in our loop 1. So, what are the what are the voltage or uh, what are the resistor na nakakabit sa loop 1 natin? We have our 10 and 2. Tama? So, we have our I will have my 12I1 minus 2I2 minus 0. But 0 kasi wala naman nakakabit na resistor sa loop 3 natin. So, minus 6. So, pag transpose natin yung negative 6, magiging positive 6. Tama? That will be our equation 5. Equation 6. Equation 4. Equation 5. And our equation 6. So, mapapansin mo yung equation 5 natin at yung equation natin doon, parehas lang. Right? Ito. Pag kinumber mo siya, parehas lang sila. Tama? And then, our equation 6, uh, equation 6, which is basically your, ano nakakabit sa loop 3 natin? Your I1 and, uh, your 1 and 5. So, that is my 6, 6, I3. And then, yung nakakabit sa kabila, which is your I1. Tama? Yung 1, I1, negative yan. Pag nakakabit sa kabila, negative na agad. Okay? Pag inad mo lahat yung mga karet, uh, yung mga resistor na nakakabit sa loop na to, okay? And then may, syempre inad mo lahat, and then mag minus ka nung nakakabit sa kabila. Kasi nga, yun yung parang uh, effect, effect ng other loop to that loop. Okay? So, plus 6I3 plus 6I3 minus I1 so, minus 8 plus 6 is negative 2. So, pag kinansos yung negative 2, magiging positive 2. That is our equation, 6. Okay? So, mapapansin mo, parehas lang. Negative I1 ka uh, negative hindi, I2, I1. Okay. I2 to I2. Okay? So, yung subscript natin. So, I2. Negative I2. Okay? I2. So, negative I2 plus 6I3 equals that is the shortcut in getting the equation or in getting the equations in our mesh analysis. That is what you call mesh analysis by inspection. So, take note, pag mag-inspect ka, mesh analysis by inspection Ano ito lang yan, ha? So, add all resistor connected to the loop to the loop and then number 2 subtract the value of resistor connected to other loop to other loop and then follow KVL on the conventions of your voltages.
Okay? Ganyan, ganun lang siya. Okay? So, this is our mesh analysis. Case 1 example. Independent voltage sources. Thank you. And please subscribe.